Charlie Woods. He's more than a name. He's the future of golf. Follow us as we trace the footsteps of a young prodigy stepping into his legendary father's shoes. Witness a journey from admiration to aspiration, all under the towering legacy of the great Tiger Woods. Growing Up Woods, the beginning of Charlie's journey. Tiger Woods announced the birth of his second child, Charlie Axel Woods, on February 9, 2009. And even though Charlie was already golf royalty, Tiger still slipped some golf history into his name. He had named him after the legendary Charlie Sifford, the first African-American golfer to play on the PGA Tour. Life seemed jolly for the young father, until a year later when his union with Charlie's mother, Ellen Nordgren, crashed. Luckily for Charlie and his sister Sam, their parents prioritized their children's happiness over their differences, so the divorce didn't deny Charlie of his father's love. As the son of the world's best golfer, it was only a matter of time before Charlie picked up a club. While Mike Douglas had introduced a two-year-old Tiger to the golf world on his show in 1978, Charlie was filmed with an elementary but impressive swing at only four years old. Thanks to Tiger's super private life, much of Charlie's development on the course happened in secret. But during this time, he had become more than his father's son. Charlie had become Tiger's golf buddy and student. Most people will jump at the opportunity to be either, but Charlie called dibs with 50% of Tiger's DNA. The two moved even closer during the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 lockdown break gave them plenty of time to connect on and off the course, and the result of their bonding sessions was on full display at the 2020 PNC Championship. It was the media's first glimpse into their unique relationship, and it was especially interesting to see how Charlie was a duplicate of his father. From his swing to the iconic Tiger fist pump, Charlie channeled his father completely. But more than that, the golf world was excited to see Charlie's talent. His appearance at the tournament ignited a clamor for Little Tiger to fill his dad's heavy boots. And one thing was clear, spending so much time in Tiger's company had made Charlie a whiz kid, and some would even say it's in his blood. Well, it's hard to argue about that. Like father, like son, Charlie's golf evolution. The greens became his playground, the club an extension of his arm. Was he merely imitating, or was something greater taking shape? Charlie proved he was one to watch at the 2020 PNC Championship, and ever since golf media got their first taste of him, they've been hooked. Apart from the PNC Championship where he and his dad have become tournament favorites, Charlie has been active in the junior golf sphere. Expectedly, he stands out among his peers because he's Tiger's son, and his father's fortune has afforded him certain privileges, such as his set of customized clubs. Most golfers don't get to use personalized equipment until they turn pros, but Charlie is special. His set of tailor-made P7 CW irons was tailored to his style, and he's been carrying them since as far back as 2021. He's been playing on the Hurricane Junior Golf Tour based in Florida, where Tiger has his $50 million mansion. He finished T-122 in the 11-13 division in 2021. Meanwhile, at the PNC Championship, he had delighted golf fans, including his father, with his very first competitive eagle a year before. So fans were looking forward to more, and he didn't disappoint. On the final day of the 2021 PNC, he and his dad knocked in 11 straight birdies and stole the show. The Woods men almost stopped John Daly and his son from winning the event, but they had to settle for second place. In 2022, he upped his game and rose to T48 in the same division. That year, with Tiger on his bag, he shot a career-low 68 in a qualifier for the Nota Begay III Junior National Golf Championship in Florida. Later in December, at Tiger's Hero World Challenge, Tiger revealed Charlie was already out driving him. After someone asked him when he thought Charlie would be out driving him, Tiger said, it's already happened. He hit a drive at Medalist and got me by a yard. Although Tiger has lost distance to age and injuries, a 13-year-old out driving a pro was still a massive surprise to everyone. Golf Channel's Paul Azinger also confirmed that Charlie's swing speed was already up to 117 miles per hour. Considering this was higher than the tour average, it meant Charlie could hold his own against a tour pro. And that's simply ridiculous. In 2023, Charlie took his game up another notch. In February, for instance, he won the South Florida Junior Open. 
That was before he finished tied for ninth at the National Junior Open in April. Then in June, aged just 14 years old, Charlie made history. He won his very first major. Okay, maybe not a major major, but he claimed the top prize at the Hurricane Junior Golf Tours Major Championship. What was major, however, was he won it. In a fashion similar to his father's early days, Charlie annihilated the field of boys in the 14 to 15 division. He won by a whopping eight strokes. In the 36-hole event at the Village Golf Course in Royal Palm Beach, Florida, Charlie was the only one to score under par. The closest anyone came to his one under par total was Noah Manley's seven over. And Tiger was there to watch the entire show. He knew more than anyone else that the rest of the field had no chance when a Woods was in the zone. Charlie's ability to focus is a credit to Tiger's coaching techniques. Tiger's father, Earl Woods, had built the machine that Tiger became through military-like drills that taught Tiger the discipline he needed to excel. Tiger is softer on Charlie, but he's also molding his son to be a force on the greens through mental drills. While discussing his coaching style during his 2022 Hero World Challenge interview, he said, It's non-stop, non-stop. It's trying to get him. If I can get into his head, that means someone else can get into his head. It's going to get to a point where I can't get into his head, and then no one else can get in there either. That's what my dad believed. You've got to be willing to take it. Hey, if it worked once, who says it won't work again? Chasing the legend, Charlie's quest for greatness. An illustrious path lay before him, one already etched in history. Was he ready to tread it? The buzz around Charlie in the golf biz has been about his potential pro career. Already, he has the makings of a pro golfer, and he's had more exposure to the pro game than most of his mates. Not many of them can call a two-time major champion like Justin Thomas a friend. It's a perk that comes with being the son of Tiger Woods. His golf evolution is also a sure sign that he's thinking about professional golf. At 14 years old, his profile on JGNC.com has his scoring average at 72. He's won multiple tournaments and knows he has what it takes to build himself up to pro status. For example, his one under par score at the Hurricane Junior Golf Tours Major Championship was nine strokes better than the 16 to 18 division champion's tally. These are early signs of an imminent PGA Tour champion. Charlie looks like he's been putting in a lot of work on and off the course. One of the most obvious changes he's made is the bulk he's added. He shocked golf fans who saw the slim Charlie from 2021 arrive at the 2022 PNC Championship looking beefed up. Like most things Charlie does, his father is a serious inspiration for his workout routine. Tiger himself went from a lanky 6'1 bomber to a heavy set power player. With top players like Bryson DeChambeau and Rory McIlroy gaining muscle to improve their game, Charlie seems to have given himself a head start in the strength department. Talking about strength, one of Charlie's greatest strengths is his swing. At first, it looked very much like Tiger's, but it got even better after Tiger himself advised Charlie to model it after Rory McIlroy's. Bigger Tiger and this swing. It's flattering for a junior golfer to have two of the most impeccable swings in golf in his arsenal. The more you look at it, it feels like Charlie was born to play golf. Are you cheering for Charlie? Hit the like button and subscribe for more incredible golf journeys. Navigating the pressures, life under Tiger's shadow. With a name so iconic, the pressure was inevitable, but sometimes pressure forges the best diamonds. It's hard being Woods, and Tiger knows all about it. His career has been the most scrutinized in the history of golf. And after Charlie joined him in the spotlight, the young man looks destined for a lifetime of media coverage. It's just what happens when your father is Tiger Woods. Growing up in the age of social media has also compounded Charlie's media visibility. It's a time when everyone with a smartphone is a self-proclaimed journalist, and that means more eyes on Charlie. This is evident in the number of social media accounts dedicated to monitoring his progress. As it is, he's the most popular junior golfer in the world already, just because he's Tiger's son. A bookmaker has even projected the odds of him winning a major by the age of 30. If he goes pro, he'll automatically become the most popular player on tour. His career is the most anticipated since his father's, and all eyes are on him, whether he likes it or not. It's a lot of pressure, but Charlie seems unfazed by it, at least on the surface. He's shown he's comfortable in public without his father beside him. 
He was at the 2023 US Open to watch Wyndham Clark win his first major title, and he, as usual, made the news again. First with this viral video of his swing at the Riviera Golf Club. Golf instructor Lucas Wald had posted the tee shot on his Instagram. In his caption, he wrote, cool action, he has a decent coach, I'm sure. Okay, we know his coach, but we won't say he's decent. Let's just say he's all right. The attention Charlie received was a testament to his star power. Even the USGA US Open Twitter account couldn't resist tweeting a picture of him with the caption, early scouting for the 2039 US Open. The amount of interest in his career clearly shows that golf can't wait to have Charlie. The only way he can navigate the sea of pressure is to tell himself he's not Tiger Woods and be Charlie and accept whatever that is. It's unfair to anyone to be compared to a GOAT, since only a very few players ever attain the status. But you can't blame the golf world for dreaming of another Tiger, can you? If you saw the first one, you'd do the same. Beyond the Greens, Charlie Woods the Person Beneath the golfer, beneath the woods, was a tale less told. Who was Charlie really? While Project Charlie is going on, Charlie is still in school. He attends the Benjamin School, a private school in Palm Beach, Florida. Tiger has maintained that he's not forcing his kids to do anything, so he's kept their options open. Like his older sister, Charlie used to be an avid soccer player, and when he's not watching golf, you might catch him at a tennis game. His father got him interested in the sport, and they've been attending tournaments together since he was a little boy. Overall, Charlie seems like a cool kid with a calm head on his shoulders, and if he keeps smiling and joking, he has a wonderful life ahead of him. There's a chance that Charlie might not become the pro golfer fans are hoping for. He still has college before him, and many years to decide the path he wants to tread. But whatever happens, he's destined for greatness. If you enjoyed this video about Charlie Woods chasing Tiger's greatness, check out the video on the screen now, or the one we posted below. We're sure you'll like that one too. Let us know in the comments if there's another golfer whose journey you'd like us to cover. See you there!